It has been a week of confusion and protests outside the White House and inside airports. But the most significant opposition to Donald Trump's immigration ban came from Judge James Robart in this Seattle courtroom. I find that the court should and will grant the temporary restraining order. Overruling President Trump's executive order that he signed just eight days ago. Now people are free to travel once again into the United States. The challenge? That this violates a clause in the US Constitution prohibiting the favoring of one religion over another was brought by the state of Washington and later joined by Minnesota. Judge Robart's decision, effective immediately, effective now, puts a halt to President Trump's unconstitutional and unlawful executive order. I want to repeat that. It puts a stop to it immediately. In the last week, some passengers have still managed to enter the United States due to other statewide legal challenges, like here in Boston. Now, the US Customs Agency has told airlines passengers from the seven mainly Muslim countries who were barred, they can now fly. Qatar Airways, Air France and Lufthansa say they'll begin boarding passengers immediately. The White House says it will fight this court ruling. In a statement, it said, the Department of Justice intends to file an emergency stay of this outrageous order and defend the executive order of the president, but then 15 minutes later toned that wording down, removing outrageous. The White House has said it will act to overturn this at the earliest possible time, but the confusion and protests seem set to continue. Katrina Renton, BBC News.